It's Mumsy's birthday dinner with friends. Look how cute she looks. You look cute. You look so pretty. Well, why are you wearing the shoes? Because she's pissing you off? Wait, she left already? And she showed the restaurant. I'm like, Danny, you were supposed to come get me. And I, I was like, at least I stayed in so many times. We were supposed to go together. Uh -huh. And so she had to turn back around. <laughs> and everything's going up my phone. Let me get a picture of you. I want it somewhere nice. Stand, stand like over there. What? Oh, I'll put it back. Bitch me folded, what? never that boy Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the gap boy If I win this neck, baby Yeah, that's on my back, boy Get ear to the max, boy Finny, that's a fact, boy I'm from a place where it's dark outside Them late nights, you can't walk outside Bullets got the names on them Hit you when your homeboys ride As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man, this be the five MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live, Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but connect Shump could, baby, Shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be. Uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Ay. New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Ay. Can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Ay. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm going to tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. We're having our breakfast together. Where are you going? No, 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 eat, eat. No, sit down and eat, sit down and eat. Put your, fix your chair. Your chair is not where the table is supposed to be. Yeah. Ah, is it good? Ah, okay. You like it? Cool. I mean, I love everything that has to do with heroes. Sounds like hero elephant. First, the purpose of real. The first thing is going to be. Mm. Eat your food. Come on. You got sausage, you got some pancakes left, and you got some yogurt, too. You got chips and Ritos. I know. I like Ritos. Say hey. Hey. You say hi to everyone. Say hey guys. Hey Divas. Hey Divas. Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> you tell everyone good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We on our way to daycare, okay? Sorry about the sunlight, y'all. You know, it is what it is. I can't control that. But I definitely want y'all to see Tato. Because she was saying good morning, right? Good morning. Right? Y'all can see her. Yeah, there you go, smiling. You're just smiling. She's just so happy. We on our way to daycare. So at the daycare, say that again. Tell them. Say that again. Who at the daycare? Who at your daycare? 
Who's at your daycare school? Baby cousin? Baby cousin's at your daycare? Cousin. Baby cousin and big cousin, right? Yeah, they at your daycare, right? So y'all know baby cousin is at the daycare today. Um, you gonna just keep waving? Okay. Well, baby cousin is at daycare today. Huh? You got your copy too? Oh, okay. You showing your copy off? That's your copy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I love it. Mm -hmm. Today you go to your new class. Yeah, today. So today, today Taylor goes to her new class. Um, she's she's moved up in the world, like she's graduating to um the two and a half to threes. So that's the classroom she's going to today. Yeah, I know she's been there since she's been six weeks. Anyway, so they there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to check on them real quick. I'm going to see how they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's that. So we're going to go see baby cousin, okay, before we go to class. Because then she also has um, a new class to go to also today because, like, of her age. So to everybody, you see them later. Say bye. Bye. Say have a good day. Good day. Bye, divas. Bye, divas. Bye, divas. I went ahead. I dropped off Tato. So, like I was saying, she have a new class that she have to go to because she's almost three. So they, you know, they go by the age. So, um, she seemed okay when I went in there. But first, before we went and dropped each other off, well, we didn't drop each other off because when she dropped me off, so. but when I first, um, when we first got there, you know, what I'm saying we went to look for my grandson Jalen. He's the one who has autism. He's autistic. So, you know, I wanted to check on him. They did say that he was um he was trying to leave. He was trying to run out the door, like the daycare, like his room, his classroom door. He had ran out the classroom door a couple of times and then they had just finally got him to calm down. But when they seen me, when he seen me looking at him through the glass, he just got like upset. So, I did have to go in and comfort him and stuff like that for a while, which was easy. And then I went and checked on my newest grandson, Jason, who was busy stuffing his face with some milk. So anyway, then I took Tato, you know what I'm saying? Tato was giving out her kisses to her cousin. And then I took Tato to her new classroom. Girl, she was not having it. She was upset too. I had to go back in and calm her down. It was like a calm down match between all the grandkids. It was so crazy. Tato is grown, okay? She is so grown. She will tell you her little day-to-day -day business and all of that cool stuff, which is great. So now I'm just going to go home. I'm going to do my video. I'm hungry, but I don't even have any more breakfast bowls. I love these breakfast bowls from Winco. They're very full. They're very filling. They come with some potato wedges, um, sausage bites, sausage bites, eggs, cheese, um, and bacon you know little chunks of bacon so i really do like the breakfast bowl it's very very filling but i think like if you eat them enough and they mad cheap they they are all you got to do is put them in a the microwave but i don't really like my stuff microwave i don't like all my food microwave so i put it in a toast oven crisp it up you know what i'm saying and it's a nice size bowl like it's like about this big that round and it's a you know a Tupperware container, and it's three dollars and forty nine cents at Winco. So, girl, I want to go and get me some more, but it takes like twenty five minutes to get there. I ain't trying to drive that far right now for no breakfast bowls. Okay, yeah, not for the breakfast bowls. The one thing though, they are building one closer to me, but I don't think I'm gonna even go to that one because you know how people go to stuff when it's brand new and opening, and then it be mad crowded in there. Like, yeah, no, thank you. I'm gonna just keep going to the one that I've been driving to. You know how you get used to something? Like, I'm used to their their layout. I'm used to the drive, so and I know where everything is at. If you live in Arizona, you have to go to Winco, okay? F fries, fuck fries. You have to go to Winco because Winco gives you so much more groceries for your money. Yes, you do have to bag your own groceries. No, you do not have to buy grocery bags because they have them there for you to utilize. But 
Groceries are so much more cheaper. Like some people like to go to Aldi's, but I don't really care for Aldi's too much because there's not a lot to choose from at Aldi. Aldi's, there's not a lot of variety. I mean, it is good, but it's not good for everything. Like there's not a lot of meats and stuff like that. So I prefer to go to Winco. And Winco is humongous. It's huge. It looks just like a huge ass warehouse. That's what it looks like. But it's a grocery store and it's huge. And you get name brand stuff for a way fraction of the price. You can also get their brand, Winco stuff, which I do because I'm not really into brands. Like certain things I do have to have in a name brand, like ketchup, mayonnaise, certain things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But other than that, I don't really think it's important to me. Like, I don't care about the name brands. Like all the all, all the things I can do it out. But just make sure my ketchup and my mayonnaise is Heinz and Hellman's. Other than that, you can give me any type of brand stuff. I don't really care. It all tastes the same. You live in Arizona. Make sure your ass go to Winco. Go to Winco because Winco, W-I-N-C-O. Winco mm, will definitely have you non-coco. Winco is the shit. Okay, seriously. Like, I love their grocery store. Very, very affordable. You know what I mean? I'm going to have me some spaghetti that I made the other day. It is so good. It was turkey spaghetti. And um, we actually got, it was ground turkey. We got three tubes of it from the church because every month, by my house here, they have a, a food a food drive. I guess that's what you want to call it. They have a, a mobile pantry, and you just drive up, and they put your boxes in your car. But it's only where I live at, so you have to be in the zone. So it's actually in Garden Lakes in my complex when they do this because there's a church. There is a Mormon church in my complex, so that's where they do this once a month. So you don't have to show income. You you just can live here and get free groceries. So they gave us they gave us three logs of ground turkey. Now, when I say logs, I don't mean they're this big. They like about this this long, you know what I'm saying? Little logs, but they was decent. And I cooked all three of them. And I already had like a jar of Winco spaghetti sauce. And then I had a couple of cans of spaghetti sauce from the last time that I from like a months and months ago that I had got some groceries from them. But um I made that and we had some uh, vegetables in the refrigerator, you know, like green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers. We had some of those that was already used throughout the week. So I had half of each one. So I used those. I cut those up. I cut up some onion and put it in there. Um, I had saved some cilantro and some um, pico de gallo from the Mexican restaurant that I had went to and got me um, something to eat with some... Um, Oh, my God. It was some onions and something else, cilantro. Like, they put them in the little plastic um, containers. You know what I'm saying? They, they give you, like, a nice size. When I go to El Pollo Loco, that's where they give you the cilantro and the onions, and it's marinated in something. So I save those for later use and because my kids don't like them, but they, they'll save them for me. So I put those in there. Girl, excuse me. The spaghetti was so damn good, okay? Yeah, that spaghetti was good. And I already had some pasta noodles. So, yeah, I had some rotini pasta noodles. So, it's easier for the baby to pick up. But, yes, I had that, girl. And that was a good dinner. I'm going to have that for for lunch. I ain't going to eat dinner. But, anyway, you guys, let me get in the house here. I've been talking out here all. Hey, y'all. Girl, I have to take me a nap. I went home. I did some work. I ate. I made some eggs, some scrambled eggs with cheese, some sausage, and a piece of toast. When I tell you guys, when I tell y'all at, like, 1130, I was so tired. Like, Literally, I was so tired. I was sitting there and I was, you know, I was doing my work at my desk. I was editing my video. I was working and stuff. And like 1130 something, I got so tired, like literally tired. Like I had been 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 busy working out, busy doing shit all day. Like, you know, rough. It just felt like I hadn't went to sleep last night. I was so tired. So I had went to lay down for like an hour, hour and a half. But I don't even think it was that long, the time frame when I was sleeping because, I, you know, I was woken a couple times, but like my cell phone going off, like text messaging and whatever. So, you know, I did get some sleep, a little bit of rest, and I felt so much better. So when I woke up, I had went ahead and um, finished doing my work. I know this man is not going to park his... You know what? People over here be so disrespectful when um, it comes to waiting to pick these kids up on this particular block. And this one house right here that is like in front of me, People will park directly in front of her garage, like her driveway, her garage. So, and I've said this before, because I, you know what I'm saying? I've said this before, but people have no decency. They park dead smack right in front of her driveway. I've watched her get out of her car and had to knock on people's windows, asking them to move so she could get into her driveway and garage. And this guy, he sm he sells um, ice cream. And like a, out of a caravan, you know, because that's the thing now. And he will park his shit right in front of the driveway. Like, there's no way. No, 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 no. I don't know how she deal with it because she don't never be saying nothing. But anyway, 
Um, yeah, I have to take me a nap. I was so tired, you guys. And then I was able to finish. Well, I didn't get to finish my video editing, so I'm gonna have to do that when I get back home. Well, yeah, just sit here waiting for Tinky to get out of school. Oh God, here we go. Here we go with the police. Who is he going after today? Oh my God, they're such a nuisance. what's up so anyway what's up you guys what's up you know sitting here waiting for my grandson it's, it's a half a day today you know so i'm here just finished recording one video so i'm gonna go back home i'm gonna do another video so that's why i'm all dolled up like made up makeup on you know i normally only do my makeup for days when i'm doing my videos but i'm just sitting here waiting for the kids to get out of school with my buddy right here my little sidekick and i just figured i would holler at y'all i'm like so girl listen let me tell y'all Picking up the kids from school or this particular school has really become irritating for the last couple of weeks. Like when I tell you I'm over it, you know how you speak to somebody, you you constantly speak to them. You know what I mean? Y'all have became acquaintances because I can't consider everybody to be my friend. But the one lady that live on this block, right? Normally I'll park in front of her house, but I've been parking there for years before she even bought the house. She also lived in Garden Lakes in another house, but she decided to move into this one. Now, mind you, I don't know if she rents it or if, it, if she purchased it, because like I said, she already lived in a house in Garden Lakes and then she decided to move to this one. So I really think that she rents this house because the prior tenants that lived here, they were renting two. And it's weird because, I mean, it's not really weird, but they were also black. There's not a lot of black people that live in Garden Lakes. So I'm not really sure if they were relatives of hers or what have you. But either way, I met her before I even knew that she was purchasing this house or she was going to move to this house. I met her at the karaoke bar with my girl Tay, right? And and Tay texted me yesterday to me and her going to get together real soon because I want to hear about, you know, we got to we gotta catch up. I want to I wanna hear the tea. But anyway, so... I met her one night at the karaoke bar. Me and um, Tay was going to. So Tay introduced me to her because she was actually looking for property to more or less not purchase but rent out. And Tay is a real estate broker. So she helped her, um, you know, find the property. So she introduced me to her. So she and I became acquaintances. You know, we would see each other in passing, out and about in the grocery store. I went to one of her places of business. That it's just more or less themed, like you can hold different like type of parties there. So every time I would, you know, pick up the kids, or she, and she would come out, she would, you know, she and I would talk with one another. Because I was parked right in front of her house. Not in front of her driveway, but on a public parking street. So lately, people have just been coming up to cars on this block and just getting a little bit out of control with don't park on this block, don't park on the block. Like because the kids go to school, they don't want nobody parking on their block and all of this. Like, first of all, it's a public street. And what you're not going to do is knock on my window and tell me where I can and cannot park. And if I'm not blocking your driveway or your garage, then don't knock on my damn window because you may own the house that you live in. You may even rent it. But, sweetheart, you do not own the street that the cars are driving on, okay? Don't let me have to park in your driveway. And don't, don't, don't do that. Don't let me have to park in your driveway. So I don't even park in front of her house anymore because I seen her one day. Because I came late, you know what I'm saying? So I parked on this side of the street, on the opposite side. And she was knocking on people's door, windows, telling them, don't park in front of her house, putting garbage cans in front. That's the main reason why I stopped parking it. Because she started putting garbage cans in front of just blocking the street, like, to where people can't park at all. Like, you can't do that, okay? So I just parked on the opposite side. And um, now I'm watching her, like, harassing people, like, literally harassing people, coming out when she's coming out. She don't even have any little kids that go to the school, you know what I'm saying? So she's just coming out to basically be nosy. So, you know, she's coming out, knocking on people's windows, talking about, move your car. I can't really see or hear exactly everything she's saying, but it all falls down to move your car. Don't park in front of my house type shit, you know what I mean? 
And I'm just sitting here and I'll just be watching it all. So I seen her um, a few, a couple days ago come out and she came walking across the street where I was parked at. Now, mind you, I'm like, I know you're not about to come over here and knock on my fucking window and tell me I can't park in this block because this is when you're going to get cussed out. Today is going to be the day you get cussed the fuck out and I'll cuss you the fuck out. And you keep backing up any further and hit my car, we're going to have a whole fucking problem. As I was saying, she walks across the street and I'm like, please, and she was looking my direction. I'm like, please don't knock on my window. Please don't start no shit with me because I will forget our acquaintance or whatever you want to call it. And I will cut your ass the hell out. OK, I'll be trying to be nice. I'll be trying to be a good person. And I really mean that, you guys, like I'll be just trying to stay out of the way and mind my effing business because that's just what I try to do. But you're not going to come over here and harass me. So she did come and knock on my window, but she just wanted to say hello. That's all she wanted to say. And I'm like, well, I'm glad she just wanted to say hello because now if you hadn't and you wanted to say something else, you're about to see my real nasty side. And I don't want to play nice nasty with you, but I definitely will. Okay. So they've been acting real funny on this blog with the parking. Like, don't park in front of my house. Don't park like, but you know what? I'm grown and you don't own the streets. I'm going to park wherever the fuck I want to park. But anyway, so, yeah, they've been acting real funny on this block. I'm um, talking about don't park over here, don't park over here. Because the kids, you know what I mean, they walk across the street. But the, there, I guess there was a kid that almost got hit. But here's the thing. Y'all parents, parents need to teach their kids to look both ways when they're going out the street. Because I've been watching these kids for years, and they don't even look both ways. They just walk. Yeah, so they really need to teach their kids. When you cross in the street, make sure you look both ways. Look before you cross the street. And they don't do that. They just start walking. They don't even look. Even the parents don't do it. I know I always got something to bitch about, but I'm just saying. See, he's mm. here. Half a day. Your face is red. What? What's wrong? Because that's a little baby wearing a, a costume. Oh, you know how kids like to wear little costumes it's outside? Like, it's, out, it's hot outside. You know how little kids love to wear little costumes out and about? That'd be the thing. I used to let Mumsy do that. I used to let Mumsy do that. She used to, um, I used to let her wear costumes outside. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It's cutesy. It's demure. Was it a mad hot or something? No, those costumes. Are, what, what kind of costume was it? Oh, Spider-Man. Oh, it was one like that. Yeah. Oh, why did I think it was like a little girl with a, like a little princess costume? It was a newborn. It was a newborn. That wasn't a costume. That was their pajamas. Oh. That's their pajamas. It wasn't a costume. That's their baby pajamas. And if it's a newborn, they ne they definitely need to wear some clothes when they come out, even if it is hot outside. Because they've been in the belly all that time, and it's hot in the belly. So you got to keep it the same way for them when they, you know, when they're born. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your face is red. Hi. Yeah, yours. Looks a little red. How was school? Good. You had a good day? Hi. Um, <laughs> Say hi to Panny. Did you speak to Panny? Yeah. He ain't speak to you. I did. You did? Yeah, I did. I didn't hear you say Panny hi. I did. Did he say something to you? Did he speak to you? Yeah. Did he speak to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Say good morning, everybody. What? You want to show good morning, Tiva? So say everybody, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Where we going? Good morning. We going to school. You want to show your new puppy that you got? What's your name hi. on it? Tato, say hi to you guys. Show hi. them your new puppy. What's your new puppy? Let's see it. Yeah, and it's got your name on it, right? Yep, it's got her name on it on the other side. Tati had it customized. She got a Tinky one like that too. So that way, when they go to school, can't nobody say that's their cups. But those are actually, Tinky got a Yeti and Tato got, a, hers is not a Yeti, but Tinky got a Yeti and she had it customized through the Yeti company with his name on it. And then she found another one for Tato that does customization and got her one because, you know, she goes to daycare school. So can't nobody say that's their cup. I mean, I want to see too many people with the same thermal mug, but yeah. <sighs> it's school time, right? So Tati washed my hair yesterday afternoon, you guys. It felt so good to have somebody else wash my hair. Like, I really felt like I was back at home in New York. felt so good. Like, just having someone else, like, in your head, just massaging your scalp. Oh, it felt so good. It smelled so good. And my curls, and the curls were so pretty and just so fresh looking. 
Oh, man. And I did put it up in a pineapple. But with my hair, if you put it up and like even even if it's the curl is stretched out a little bit, it's going to my hair is going to turn. It's going to turn straight. Like so in the morning, the, the curls were still curly. But a lot of my hair in the, like this area was straight because I had pulled it up in a pineapple. I did brush it up um, on top of my head. So I have like this little puff, curly puff on the top of my head. Normally my ponytail is like lower because I have like a huge, a long head. So I really don't like my ponytail to be up too high on my head unless I have like a bun. You drinking your cuppy water? It's cold, right? Mm. Cold. Cold. It's good, right? It's good? Mm -hmm. I see. Because you ain't stopped drinking it. And then today I have well, some different lashes. These other lashes, that's part of the um, the same brand that I wear, the Clear Bands. At first I liked them, but I had to cut them because they were a little too long for my eyes. Um, So I had to cut them. But before I go home, I have to go to the grocery store and I have to get some food for my pancake, my dog. And then I'll go home and work. So this is what my hair is looking like right now, you guys. Just really curly and poofy on the top. Just really curly on the top. These curls, these curls were so nice and shiny. It's unfortunate I had to like finger comb some of them out just to get my hair to lay straight. But it did come out really nice and clean. I'm hoping that these products make my hair grow in thicker. Because I really, really need that to happen, like, yesterday. Seriously. But these are new lashes that I have on. They're not new. I already had them. I got to go home and fix one on this eye. But, yeah, they're a little bit longer, more wispier. But the same company. I don't really know how I feel about them. But um, they're not too thick. That's the one thing. Not, they're not too hairy or not too lashy. That's one thing I do like about them. But, yeah, I hope those products make my hair grow in thicker a whole lot. But we'll see you guys later. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. So anyway, you guys, I had to come back home. I had to come pick Tati up. Because I have to go give my stepson a jump in his car. Jump. His car needed a jump. So I have to go do that. And that'll probably be like an hour, 30 minutes there, like about 30 minutes or 25 minutes there. And then. And so, so I will see you guys when I get back. Girl, my day has been so long, you guys. You ever wake up and you just realize you have certain things to do and you want to do those certain things, right? And that's going to be that. So after I dropped off Tato to school, Tati had called my phone while I was in the daycare. I left the phone in the car. So I needed to go and give my stepson a jump for his car because the battery had died. So that's what I did after I dropped Tato off. It was like um, a 30-minute drive to get to the destination. And then, you know, here I am now. But anyway, so I went and did that. Um, me and Tati, I, I brought Tati with me because, you know, his girlfriend is Wuzzle's best friend and Tati's friend. So we went and did that, picked her up, and then we went and we brought her to her car and jumped the car. And then I went to the grocery store across the street, Winco, you know, my favorite grocery store. I went to that. I got me a couple of bre um, breakfast bowls and just some things, some groceries for the house, you know what I mean? And then I had to go to Kroger's, Fry's Kroger's, to get some food for pancake. They don't sell Fresh Pet at Winco. They only have dry dog food. But then when I went home, I had some salmon for lunch that Tati had made me last night for dinner, but I really didn't want to eat it. You know how you just get tired of something? Like, I think out of seven days out of the week, I probably eat salmon four. And girl, I'm over it. Like, I'm literally like, I, it's not that I hate salmon now, but yeah, girl, I'm over it for sure. I'm definitely over the salmon. Went upstairs, edited the video, was looking through my old videos and realized, yeah, girl, you're going to lose some weight and you're going to lose some weight this year. I really want to say before 2024 ends, but I don't even know if that's possible. Like, I mean, I'm, I can lose some weight, but I'm definitely not going to lose all the weight that I would like. 
but I'm going to lose something. And I guess at least I'm trying, right? Like, you ever look at your pictures, right? Okay, so, like, I'm going to just say for myself. So, like, two years ago, it's 2024 now. So, like, in 2022, 2021, I was like, oh, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat. This is me, always about myself. Always. I'm always thinking I'm fat, even when I lost, like, a lot of weight. I mean, I knew I wasn't fat, but I just felt like I could have lose more, right? I definitely have to lose weight, like... I don't even know anymore. Like, I just get so disappointed with myself at times. And then I think I try to write it off like, oh, girl, why are you worried about it? You fine. People have to accept you for who you are. And like, that is, that part is definitely true. People do have to accept you for who you are. But just because that part is true doesn't mean you should allow yourself to become unhealthy. Like, I'm not saying I'm the healthiest person in the world, but to me, I'm unhealthy. Like, cause I have high blood pressure and I'm just, you know, I just be disappointed with myself because being honest with you right now, it's not that I don't feel good, but I could feel better. Like I want to get back to where I could walk up the steps in my house and just feel like I'm not doing much of anything, but just walking up some steps and not even feeling big about it. You know what? This time around, I'm just going to have to do it different. I'm not going to get on a scale every day because that's what disappoints me. I just hate getting on a scale and then being disappointed. So I'm not going to get on a scale every day because it can be a disappointment. And I'm just going to take my time and stop worrying about, well, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Because it seems like gaining weight is easily to happen. Like you can, that should seem like it happens overnight. If y'all have suggestions, let me know. Because I really want to be held accountable for my actions. And I don't think I can do this by myself. Oh, this is my This is my jam. Y'all already know. This is my jam. Y'all already know. Mm -mm. I never knew love like this before. Now I love me never more. Woo! Because I never knew love like this before. Never, 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 never. That is the jam, y'all. Straight up. That is the jam. That's, that's what good music Oh, girl, that is what good music is all about, for real. Oh, my God, that is the jam. You know, when you listen to old school music, you got the good vibes, baby. The good vibes, baby. You get the good vibes, okay? Girl, yes, that is the jam. You don't hear stuff like that no more unless you go to the OD station. I mean, that's what they be calling it. But 104.3 out here in the Phoenix, Arizona. Love this radio station. That's all I really listen to. Hey y'all, what's up you guys? So I'm just sitting here enjoying my evening, finished recording, went to my doctor's appointment. So I'm sitting here watching A Quiet Place Day One on Paramount, um, streaming network, whatever you want to call it. Y'all ever seen A Quiet Place? There's part one, part two, and now there's a third one called Since uh, Day One. So I'm watching that. I'm about to make some bracelets while I'm watching TV because y'all know I cannot watch TV without doing too much, and it's very interesting. I just finished eating some Chinese food takeout. I had some lo mein. I don't really like the lo mein. I don't really eat too many different things from, like, the fast food Chinese food takeouts because, listen, I live in Arizona. So in Arizona, wait, what happened? Hold on, guys. Who just got killed? Because in Arizona, they don't make... Oh, shit. Wait, what? How did they... So in Arizona, the fast food Chinese takeout, 
it doesn't taste like back home, like in New York. It doesn't taste the same. Like the fried chicken is not fried the same. So just to be on the safe side, I just get lo mein because like anybody can boil noodles or make, you know what I'm saying? But today the noodles was, they was lacking the sauce that they put in it. And so I realized this soy sauce, I put a little bit in because I'm not like the biggest fan of all that soy sauce. Some people overdo it with soy sauce. Mm. So I just put a little bit because it was lacking the sauce. But get down the street for me. Um, but the one thing, it tastes good. But the one thing, I don't know what it does. It just messes up my stomach. And like for days, it messes up my stomach. Like, And it doesn't hurt, but just like, you know, TMI bathroom usage. So I just finished doing that, having me a buzz, not a buzz bowl, excuse me, a Big Sips iced tea. And I'm sitting here watching this movie. And y'all know I don't really watch, like I watch TV, but I cannot watch TV without like doing something. But I did go to the doctor and my blood pressure was great. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. She did state that she had to get like um, some blood work done, some lab work done, some blood work done just to check my liver because my blood pressure excuse me, be high. Um, my blood pressure has been kind of like stable for like since May, but I did want to try the Ozempic or semi glutide shots rather. But after reading and doing a lot of research, I really don't like what it does to your body, like making your body trick it as to thinking that it's full and it's really not. It messes up your, your digestive system. So I figure I'll stay away from that. And it's time to go for my walks because it's starting to cool down now. So I'm really excited about that because as you guys know, I do love to go for walks early in the morning. It just keeps me very energized. It keeps my joints going. And I just, you know what I'm saying? I got to be ready. Like if anything pop off, girl, I got to be able to be on my P's and Q's. So I love to go for walks. You know what I'm saying? It's really good for my my body and just my joints. You know, I do suffer from vein disease. So CVI, vein disease. So I do need to walk more often than a lot of people just so that way my legs don't swell up. So I'm really looking forward to the cool nights, the cool mornings out here in Arizona so that I can go back to my walks. But you guys, I'm going to watch this movie real quick and I will catch up with you guys. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So it's the weekend, and I am making some breakfast for me, Tinky, and Tato. And then we're going to go to Winko and get some groceries, me and the kids, you know. So my other grandkids, they did go. They are back in Georgia. They got their safe. And I'm just missing my, my daughter-in-law and my grandkids. Like, you know, I'm really missing them. It's going to be weird without them here, you know. Their, their time living here was short, you know. For me, it was short because they were only living here for four years. And, you know, I would really have loved to see them grow up in such the entire time they were here. But I know change is always good. And, you know, they deserve a good life. And they deserve a life where they don't have to struggle paying any bills. Nobody deserves to have to struggle. But, you know, I can't wait to go visit. I really cannot wait to go visit, you know. That'd be different for me, visiting and such. Plus, it, it you know, it may open up my eyes for somewhere else to move to. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, yeah, so me and the kiddos, we're going to go grocery shopping. Mumsy's going to come along, too. Uh, Y'all know it's weekends. It's my day to just chill and relax. But grocery shopping is kind of like chilling and relaxing. Oh, excuse me, guys. So I'm just making some eggs, sausage, and some pancakes. I ain't really making the pancakes, if you really want to be honest. It's just me um, putting them in the microwave. You know, those little mini pancakes that the kids love so much. But I am making some scrambled eggs for me and Tato because Tinky don't like scrambled eggs, just like his mother. Sausage for me and Tato because Tinky don't like these either. He liked the patties and I don't like the patties because they taste different and they're very greasy. So once we're done with that, I'm going to get the kids dressed and we're going to go. We're going to go to Winco. If y'all live out here in AZ, let me tell y'all, there's a new Winco being built. It's on um, Estrella Boulevard um, out there in Goodyear. For those of you guys who don't like traveling all the way to Surprise or Glendale, like it'll take me like 10 minutes to drive to this new one. But I decided not to go to that new one because, you know, everybody's going to be there. Like the one that I go to is never crowded. Even on the weekend, it's never crowded. So I can only imagine this new Winco is going to be really, really super crowded. Goodyear and West McDowell. So it will be opening up in October. That's what I was told. But you guys can also, you know, Winco is the place. You just got to pack your own groceries. And I don't care about that. I don't mind packing my own groceries. You know, you don't have to pay for your bags. Don't use the plastic bags, I meant to say, because I have my own tote bags. Hold on, guys.
made all their pearls and no one asking for guidance. Stimulus check, won't you cash up that? I got then they said that respect they black. Politicians and they said don't know how to act. That's why we sitting on the wrong track. Back to the long track. And it's okay to be rich. My mama always told me I was destined for greatness. But my mama also, she told me take care of the kids and everybody around the world that can fight for it. So it's a Kuna Matata, beast on the water. Pray to provider, please don't divide us. Keep that in try to face your intruder to be someone brighter. Show them your nails that you just painted. Look, no nail polish. Thank goodness this nail polish washes off or wipes off. Let's see. So this is good nail polish. It's for toddlers. It's for little kids like her. It just wipes off. You can actually peel it off. But as you see, I just get a baby wipe and take it off. If you're really looking for your nails to get done, you better go to the salon. What? Yeah, what? Yeah, I said it, big back. All right. Let's see your nails. Say hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> so you about to eat breakfast? Eat breakfast. What you having for breakfast? Let me see your nose. You can't be on camera with a dirty nose. Okay. What you gonna eat for breakfast? Eat. What you eating? Pancakes and what else? Chocolate. Eggs. Eggs. Sausage. Chocolate. Yeah. Big back. Big back. Big back. Big back. Who's the big back today? Potato. Potato. Yeah. Let's go eat sausage and pancakes. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to sit at the table or her or she can't have anything else? Okay. Yeah. I like to put mine on a slice of toast, my eggs, and three sausage. See, now she's going to bother you. Why are you bothering us? Like, literally. She is nothing but a troublemaker, you guys. Like, when I say troublemaker, 
potato is a troublemaker, right? Right, Mumsy. Right, Mumsy. She said, "Right, Mumsy." So right agree. Potato. Yeah, you're a troublemaker. Mumsy. Yes. Cuppy. You. We'll get your cuppy in a second. Let me not forget my bags, like I always do. I didn't pop the trunk open. We're gonna leave you. Well, let me not say that on on the on the video, because y'all be like, she left her in the car. There'll be no way that I would ever do that. Don't do that. Be ladylike. Don't... No. I said be ladylike. Stop. Ladylike. Be ladylike. Don't be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go on the store, y'all, because I'm about to. In the store, you ready? Are you ready? Ready. Woo! Ready. Are, is Tato ready? Tato ready. You ready, Muzzy? I'm ready. My mom's ready? Mama ready. Close your legs. Ready to go? Ready to go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Container, but it says right there. See? Yeah, she said you can't do it in the container, but it says it. Like y'all could get some. I'm gonna have to show her this. So she knows. I wanted some strawberries. I mean strawberries. Cherries. 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 I love veggies. Let's do the veggie dance. With watermelon, I know. Like you that. like watermelon, though. Watermelon. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm so close. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Apple. You like them, right? Yeah. All right, let's get some for you. I don't want some apples? I don't apples. Okay, we'll get some. <laughs> How's that? For you, you said apple. You kept talking about apple. I like an apple. You want to hold it? Let me go with it. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You okay? You all right? You all right? You all right, Mosey? I'm okay. That's your apples? I get apples. I love apples. I love apples. I love apples. You love apples? I know. Got your 10 chosen? Mm -hmm. My favorite, you guys. Breakfast bowl, 348. Comes with eggs, cheese, sausage, crumbles of bacon, and wedges. Okay. I love these. I'm getting them right now. These. 348? Yeah. Look at this salad, guys. All right. Salads. Big old huge salad, okay? For everything. Six ninety eight. Their prices are amazing here. I told y'all guys that before. Uh, they didn't have no breakfast burritos for Nay. Well, I guess I'll just get the other stuff. Oh, what's this? She might like something like this. Let's see. What is this? No. Okay, well, me and her have some of those breakfast Well, whoever wants some of the breakfast bowls. Do you like the breakfast bowls? I like the other ones more. The, the cheaper ones? Yeah. That that one, those ones have too much potato. I like this one, really? Yeah. Yeah, it is Tato. 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 Tato.
No. Mason. Yeah, it was. No. Yes, it was. I asked Tati because she had some chicken breast in a refrigerator and she was coming from, picking her up from school Mommy. and she asked me could I make them before they went back. And so I just cut them and made chicken strips. It was a couple months ago. Oh. Two months ago. You had a couple. And then you went, oh, you did, you might have one. You went somewhere with your friends. I'm my mom. Hi. I tell you though, your cheese on sale. Yeah. Well, um, what do y'all normally get? Like how Yeah, how many we normally get? They're they're dollar sixty eight. They're on sale. So get like eight, I guess. sit down i'm gonna watch baddies okay then i'm gonna watch jocelyn's cabaret and then i'm uh i don't know after that i'm gonna just prepare for tomorrow i guess because it's almost five o'clock so yeah i'm gonna go home and relax for like two hours because it's almost five o'clock for like three hours then i'm gonna go to bed because i get to the bed girl get to the bed get to the bed i'll be trying to be in the bed by 8 30 okay some days they'd be lucky by eight for girl for real girl i'll be wanting to be in the bed you know what I'm saying? I ain't even covered up, girl. I'm just relaxing, okay? I like to lay up in the bed and relax, okay? Let me watch my show, smoke my little weed, you know what I mean? Coloring my books or playing me a phone game. Girl, yes, 8 o'clock is, a, is definitely an achievement if I get in the bed by 8. But 8.30, I'd be so happy while I'm in the bed, like an old lady, right? Just like an old lady. But I'd be trying to relax. Like, you gotta, your body got to relax. You got to let your body, you know what I'm saying, tone down, like relax, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I said he wanted to sleep. Is that for name? Yeah. Trying to think, should I just make these last two chicken breasts? Come on, Tay, that was still mommy. Okay. Well, this morning, this morning, um, she, she was naming every picture of Russell, like she knew him. Yeah, because there's a picture of um, Antigua's first birthday for all of us. So look, that's my mommy. I just told her that on Saturday. Oh, and I was like, yeah, you know, she's like, yeah, and that's mommy, and that's me, and that's Mansi, and that's Russell. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, do you know what Russell was? And she went, I was like, this mommy and Russell. This is Russell. This is Russell here. This is Russell here. Russell here. I was like, you know what? Yeah, he's over here talking about him because she came in and was pointing to him and i was like yeah uncle wuzzle and then she was pointing to the picture and i was like she said no tato and i was like yeah no tato because the picture with you at tiki's first birthday I was, her. She, she did think it was she's like that's tato i was like no that's tiki and then i showed her all the pictures of wuzzle she's like no tato and i was like no honey no tato tato wasn't around tato. then
time for the stove, boo. Okay? Okay. All right. You helping yourself? No. Hi. She going to be back there. He said hi to y'all back there. So we say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> say hey, Divas. <laughs> Watch out for the stove, boo. I'm just messing with you. You ain't got to explain to me. I'll be waiting on Monday. You waiting there forever. Really? Yeah, no, it's too or time for Monday. Yeah. It's like it's, it's, it's time. come be part of the vlog. Come on, show your face. Hi, everybody. They can't see. They. <laughs> no, yeah, it gets really tired by the end. Yeah, it's like impossible to use anything. Oh, why do you even go? Just to get. Sh well, she came to my vlog. She was like, "Hi, everybody." <laughs> yeah, so I pissed to get a session, but it takes like it takes too long, and people take too long on the machine. And by the time I'm done, it's probably gonna be like eight o'clock, eight thirty. Oh, well, it's forty dollars a plate. Not for me. Why? Not for me either. I'm gonna go pick up your stuff, so it ain't nothing. I'm gonna pay you that. I don't give a damn. I'm that I'm fucking scared. rude. Can't say that on camera. <laughs> no, she can't. Tati says she don't give a damn. I'm charging plates. Forty dollars a plate. Huh? Oh, you need a Thursday morning. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna throw a party in her room. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna drive her car till the wheels fall off. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't need no children here, so don't bring me none. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, don't waste your money. You don't waste your money. Like, I mean, I like shit, but you know, so you're leaving Thursday. Yeah, I must forget. Thursday morning? Yeah, we're going to be another like three. Oh. Hi, everybody. So we're playing Southwest and they don't have a sign seating. Huh? They don't have a sign Read it in the Google three hours before your flight. Cause you need to ride to the airport three hours before your flight so you could check in. They could warn you and all that shit. I need to ask him again because he kept saying he wanted to be there by like 3, 4, 3, 30, 3, 40. He wants to be at the airport? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, 3, 30. He needs y'all need to be there. Yeah. Bacalatas, these are so good. Okay, look at all that chicken, girl. Okay, that's a lot. I got drumsticks and chicken strips and yellow rice. Who's coming over to eat tonight? Yum, yum. Who wants some chicken, some bacalatas, some French green beans? Come on over and get some. Hello. Come on over. Come on over. Okay, hello. You want to see? It's time to eat. We got to cool down a little bit, but dinner is served. We got chicken drumsticks. We got chicken strips. We got yellow rice. We got bacalatas. We got green beans. Green beans, you know? You like a green beans? What you think about this spread, huh? You ready to eat? Yeah? You got $40? I'm charging $40 per plate. You just gonna eat anyway? You not paying? No. You just gonna pay me no attention, huh? And just get you a plate, huh? All right. Okay. Tinky is ready. What you want? Drumsticks or strips? Sticks. Strips. You want strips? Sticks. Huh? Sticks. I said strips. Chicken strips or drumsticks? I'm drumsticks. You want drumsticks? Okay. You want some bacalata? Or some yellow rice? You want some green beans? No. Vegetables are good for you. You know, do the veggie dance. Let's do the veggie dance. Do the veggie dance. I love my veggies. I love my veggies. Finger tangle. Tell them, I love my veggies. I love my veggies. Let's do the veggie dance. Do the, let's do the, let's do the veggie dance. Yum, yum. Eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. Yeah. I love my veggies. I love my veggies. I love my veggies. Tell them. Tell them, yum, yum, eat them up, yum, yum, eat them up, yum, yum, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. I love my veggies.
Thank you.